Okay, good evening. Uh, the time having arrived, we'll call, call to order the regular meeting of the Sacramento Local Agency Formation Commission for Wednesday, August the 1st, 2018, and ask for a roll call. Commissioner Peters. It's, it's set on vote. Oh. There we go. Is that work better? Thank you. Thanks. Commissioner Frost. Here. Hume. Here. Green. Here. Harrison. Here. Thank you. We have a quorum. Very good. Now, if you would uh, please address the flag and join Commissioner Green in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. And I cannot recall. Madam Clerk, do you read the Metro Cable Statement or do I? No, sir. If you could do it, that'd be great. I will do it. This meeting of the Local Agency Formation Commission is cablecast live on Metro Cable 14, the Local Government Affairs Channel on Comcast, Consolidated Communications, and AT&T UVerse. The meeting is also webcast at www.sacmetrocable.tv. Today's meeting will be repeated Friday, November 9th at noon and Tuesday, November 13th at 1 p.m. on Channel 14. The meeting is also closed captioned. We ask that you please turn off any cell phones or noise-making devices. Speaker slips are located at the table on the back of the room and on the front podium. Uh, please fill them out and hand them to our clerk, Diane Thorpe, if you would like to speak on any item uh, on or off of the agenda. Thank you. Is there anybody wishing to comment on any item not on the agenda? Okay, seeing no one, we will move on. Madam Clerk, uh, please read the first item. First item is the consent calendar, items one through three. Is there a motion to approve the consent or any discussion? I have a motion by Frost. Second that motion. A second by Harrison. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Next item is item number four, public member, alternate public commission member. Well, good evening, Chair, members of the commission. This is a, a, a brief item for you this evening. We have the four-year term of the public member uh, and the alternate public member run concurrently. They both will expire at the end of this calendar year. Uh, we do have the uh, Com Commissioner Harrison has expressed uh, his desire to re retire greener pastures, and the alternate Chris Little has expressed an interest in moving. There is no immediate right of ascension, so he has thrown his hat into the ring for consideration. What we're asking this evening or suggesting is uh, your commission appoint a subcommittee to review. We have three applicants, review the applications and direct the commission clerk to arrange interviews at your convenience. We're probably, in the past, we've had one interview day, depending on the number of, of, uh, of applicants. Uh, we do need a, a member of each appointing entity, so we need a member of the board, uh, a member of, appointed by the cities, and a member of the special districts. Each of those categories is an affirmative vote from each of those categories. The subcommittee of three will make a recommendation to the full commission and each of those categories uh, needs to have an affirmative vote at a minimum of one affirmative vote from each category we need four votes to carry the care of the matter uh, the term would commence upon appointment the current terms run until replaced uh, it is a four-year term we did post the uh, noticed on our website for 30 plus days beginning Beginning September 28th uh, through November 1st, we did receive three applicants, as I mentioned. Uh, the idea is to, if we can uh, have the process occur with the subcommittee and the recommendations coming forward during the month of uh, this, this month of November, we can have this back for your commission consideration in December. Uh, we have a recess in January, so that the new appointee whose term would be commence in January would take their seat in the at the February meeting. Uh, with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Okay, any questions for the executive officer? No, I'm sorry, Don. Did you say we'd make the decision in December and they would start in February? The appointment runs January 
but there's no meeting in January, so the uh, seat the seat would be assumed in the fe first meeting in February. Okay. All right. Thank you. Any other questions? No? Anybody uh, from the public wishing to speak on this item? I have no speaker slips filled out. Okay. We will move on to... Uh, no, you, we need to we need appoint a subcommittee. Yes, we, 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 we'd, we'd like to have, well, as, we say, as I said, a member from each of the appointing categories, like the county, the, the cities, and the special district folks, one of each. Okay, so I am here. I'm willing to serve as the city commissioner. I nominate Susan as the county. Thank you. Are you Happy okay to. with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mr. Harrison, as the uh, final uh, duty of your... Uh, <laughs> Uh, term here, would you be willing to serve as the special district? I thought I heard that you asked the city, district, and county. Right, right. So we need, we need a. Oh, you're the public member. Right. My apologies. Right. You'll do it. Okay, great. Do we need a formal uh, motion and vote on that? I don't. I believe direction to the commission has been given, and we'll, 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 we'll take the steps necessary to uh, arrange schedules. You'll set up the meeting? Correct. Okay. Excellent. It says approve, so I kind of feel like we should vote on it. I oh, that, well, that's the process itself. I, pro I apologize for the semantics. I'll make the motion. Second. All right. Please vote. Oh, sorry. All those in favor? <laughs> and who seconded the motion? Uh, Commissioner Frost. Push it. Yeah, until it turns green. Turn No, at the top. Yeah, there you are. Not, it's not showing up. We have a six zero approve. It's not showing up on the. Okay, that's uh, good enough. Please read the next item. Next item is item number five, Sacramento area sewer district annexation of the community of Freeport. Uh, this proposal was uh, initiated by the board of directors of the Sacramento area sewer district. It addresses the unincorporated community of Freeport, which is just south uh, of the city of Sacramento, southerly city limits. Uh, it's, uh, it's essentially the locations between the city of, city of Sacramento and the Sacramento River. Uh, it's uh, a gold rush era town that, that uh, has always been self-sufficient and independent in their thinking. They, uh, for the most part, well, they have 100% uh, they have a mix of suburban town type town uh, uses, and on each of the parcels, they're served by their individual potable water well and their individual uh, septic systems. Uh, one of the issues that's really presented itself most recently with some of the heavy rains, rains we've been having in the winter time is the soil saturation, and there's an opportunity through this uh, through this proposal to uh, receive some grant funding to put in place uh, services for sanitary sewer that would be in, uh, there, there's financial arrangements. The SASD has had extensive outreach with the community to explain the fiscal implications, what can be um, uh, uh, cost shared and what's, what, what's going to be the responsibility of the district and or the, the, the landowner. Uh, there's, there is, uh, it is an inhabited setting uh, and there are 17 parcels, or excuse me, 41 parcels with about 17 acres. Uh, the, there's been no protest lodged through the SASD uh, proceedings to date. We've not heard from anybody in the community, uh, so I, we're, we're, we're recommending approval of the proposal, the annexation to SASD. Also recommending that your commission appoint uh, myself as the executive officer as the conducting authority to can complete the, the protest proceedings. Uh, we can we'll, we'll accomplish that at the close of the 30-day reconsideration period, and then report back the outcome of that process, likely in February. Uh, with, with, with that, I'm happy to answer any questions of the commission. Okay. Any questions for the executive officer, uh, Commissioner Peters? I just have a, a comment that uh, Supervisor Natoli, who represents this area, is a-okay with this. And on that, I'll move the item. Okay, we have a motion from Commissioner Peters, a second from Commissioner Greenwood. Is there anybody from the public that wishes to speak on this item? No? Okay. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, or vote. Opposed or vote. And we'll just do the... Or both. 
<laughs> I just obey. Okay. An another 6 0. -oh. Okay, and I need to uh, recuse myself uh, for the next item, uh, given that I have received a financial contribution from Tykert, who is involved in this project. So I bid you all farewell. Thank you. Next item, please. Next item is City of Sacramento Aspen 1 annexation reorganization. Uh, th th this item uh, was, uh, was in initiated by, by the City Council, City of Sacramento, by resolution uh, after, after considerable consultation with the landowners. The landowners are, are going through a larger land use entitlement process uh, <coughs> for a master planning of a, of a former aggregate mining pit, uh, mining operation, I should say. This area was, is, is largely at, uh, at street grade, uh, but it, was, it, it contained some support act, uh, activities, offices, that sort of thing. Uh, the parcel is about 30 acres, 27 acres. It was created as a result of a realignment some time ago of South Watt Avenue. Uh, it's located south of Jackson Highway, uh, abutting South Watt Avenue. Uh, it's, the, it's essentially surrounded by the, the, the city of Sacramento city limits, which, which follows Watt Avenue for the most part as their, as their boundary in that area. Uh, this is rough, roughly a cleanup. It's an undeveloped site. There is an on-site uh, regional sanitation transfer station here. Regional sanitation as a property owner has no objection to this proposal. Uh, Tykert as the landowner has no objection to this proposal. There was extensive consideration con and conversation with uh, uh, the private investor-owned utility, uh, California American Water company that's within their franchise area. It's not connected to any services. It's not planned for any services. Uh, we worked with uh, the city, the landowners, uh, and the PUs, the Public Utilities Commission, uh, who oversees franchise boundaries, franchise service areas. They have, the PUC has acted to authorize a, uh, a change in the franchise area, which clears the way for the city of Sacramento to become the provider of water services here. Uh, the property tax exchange agreement which has been uh, uh, signed off on by the Board of Supervisors and the City Council, addresses concerns that were raised by the affected special districts with the, with the detachments, Sac Metro Fire District. Uh, it's within their service area. It's right on the city limits boundary, so there is uh, uh, a, a fairly constant interchange of boundary, what's called boundary drops, and who, who responds to what. There's not anything on the site right now to respond to that is <coughs> addressed in the property tax exchange agreement, how that can be, uh, pr how equity can be maintained and preserved as far as service impacts, cost impacts uh, going forward. So Metro Fire is in, has signed off on this proposal, on this detachment. It's within the Cordova Rec and Park District service area boundary. Again, there's no facilities. It's kind of an orphaned parcel here. There's no facilities and no planned facilities by Cordova. They, they're gonna, uh, they receive uh, as a result of the det detachment, their current cash, cash uh, f flow uh, for a defined period of time. They've signed off on this uh, <coughs> dis uh, detachment as well. Technically, we've listed for the, the just for the information of, of the public and the commission, uh, detachments from CalAM. CalAM is not under the commission uh, authority or purview, so it's more of a matter of just making an adjustment to their franchise area and allowing this, the city to go in unfettered as a water service provider. It is, uh, it is also, we're, we're proposing at the, at the request of uh, Sac County Water Agency that several water maintenance zones be detached from this. Again, SCWA is not under the commission's purview, but this clears the way for them to do some housekeeping at the time the annexation goes forward uh, and, and is completed. So th those are somewhat uh, just technical points of clarification of, of where the commission's authority lies and where, where, where it does not. Uh, there is no one living here. All agencies do uh, concur with the proposal, as do the landowners. So uh, the recommendation is that we, your commission waive the conducting authority proceedings uh, and, and direct myself to go forward with the final paperwork to uh, affect the change in, in jurisdiction. Uh, with, with that, I'm happy to answer any questions. Questions from board members? Yep. Uh, Director Peters? I, I don't have any questions, but the city and the county have been working on this for quite a long time and are in agreement. 
Any other questions or comments or a motion? I'll move the item. We have a motion by Director Peters. I'll second. Second by Director Greenwood. If, 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 if I could uh, take a moment, I apologize. I, I, I wanted to let the uh, commission know that we do have representatives from the city of Sacramento. If you have any questions, and the landowners, I think the landowners may want to make a statement for the record. Okay. Uh, please, please. You don't have uh, to speak if you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. State your name for the record and. How could I miss this opportunity? <laughs> Um, members of the Commission, Mike Isle from Tykert, representing the landowner. I just want to take this take a moment to um, thank staff, both on the LAFCO side as well as the City of Sacramento and Sacramento County. This has been many years in the making. It seems very anticlimactic at this point, small item, but it's taken a lot of years. So I appreciate all the work uh, that's gone on behind the scenes. And also was asked to acknowledge uh, uh, cam campaign contribution to Commissioner Hume uh, made on behalf of Tykert. So. Um, but we're supportive of this action and available if there's any questions. Any questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Did the city of Sacramento wish to speak? Okay. Um, all in favor? Please vote. Oh, please vote. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Motion passed. Okay, and uh, next item is questions and announcements by our executive officer or commission council. Uh, just briefly for the, to report back, back to the commission, what you may recall our meeting in, in October was uh, canceled in light of the statewide Calafco annual conference in Yosemite. I attended as well as uh, Commissioners Frost and Jones. Uh, found it to be, first off, of course, a beautiful setting. We did go on a uh, a field trip that, sh that showed the, the the state of the forest, both both burned or getting ready to burn. So that was a little bit of an eye opener. And I, but overall, it's time well spent, and I appreciate the opportunity of the commission to give us that education. Thank you, and I, and I also went on that conference. It was um, hats off to Commissioner Jones, who did a really great job in planning. The uh, conference, uh, I went early and attended uh, the uh, tree mortality tour, which we all went on. It was very interesting. Um, in the conference, it was full of, um, it f filled with information. Um, not only did we get a chance to see what's going on in the uh, Yosemite Valley and the impact of that situation on our forests everywhere in California and the real uh, extent of the um, problem that we have in the forests with fires. Uh, but also we talked, had some in-depth discussions around municipal service reviews and LAFCO's role in encouraging agency accountability and transparency. Um, transparency and, and also um, there were LAFCOs around the state um, who kind of were there to um, discuss MSRs and their intended purpose and how they can be used, um, the conversation around cost and do we really want to pay for them uh, for the resources that we get. And there were numerous breakout sessions. Um, I attended an agricultural preservation uh, 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 meeting where we learned from the speakers from uh, Ventura and Contra Costa and Monterey and uh, Santa Clara, where they were talking about how they are preserving farmland in their in their communities and how they're taking agricultural um, preservation to the next level by actually creating agricultural preservation plans, uh, including farmland mapping and monitoring programs, and um, putting a definition for prime farmland and what is LAV LAVCO's role in preserving the farmland. And what, they, what I've kind of got out of the conversation was that they're taking it to a, a higher level where it's not so easy, you know, where, where you can't just be pressured maybe but where it's not so easy to give up your farmland, where there's actually a master plan around the, the valuable 
uh, ag land. And there are some communities that are actually tapping into the cap and trade money by putting together sustainable ag land conservation programs and, and so forth. So that was kind of interesting. Uh, and those communities are doing that individually and bringing money, actually bringing funds into their community through cap and trade. There were a lot of timely topics, dream, uh, brainstorming sessions, a lot of great food, good company, and it was a wonderful experience in Yosemite, although the face of Yosemite has changed quite a bit. It's gonna change even more. Yeah, yeah, very much so, very much so. It was a great conference, so. And were there any other comments? Uh, not uh, from me, no. Comments by council? Okay. We do not have a closed session this evening, and so if there are no comments by members, any members have comments? With that being said, this meeting is adjourned.